We are finally here. It is time. It is franchise time at last. Don't get me wrong, that Dallas Cowboys win now franchise was really cool, but this is what we want to do. Building a franchise for years to come and trying to turn what called these choke artists Atlanta Falcons into a winner. You know, get rid of that 28 to 3 out of your head. Let's build this franchise. Let's build a winner and bring a Lombardi Trophy to Atlanta. So taking a look at our coaching staff right now, obviously Coach Prime, Deion Sanders is our head coach. Henry Brock, the offensive coordinator. Jim Nichols, the defensive coordinator. So we'll see. I mean, we'll give them a year after that. Who knows? I mean, it could be different coordinators here and there. See if we can set up something different, something better. It's a good possibility. Right now, that's the coaching staff we're rolling with. So... We'll have to try to work on their talent trees for sure. Get them uh, staff point upgrades and go from there. So first week taking on this Philadelphia Eagles team, a team we thought we were going to choose for the franchise as well. So it's kind of an interesting thing. But uh, we're going to go against them. And I'd say two teams really, you know, in kind of the same thing. I think Philadelphia has more of a direction right now than Atlanta. No doubt about it. That's why we went with the Falcons instead of Philadelphia. So... It's going to be an interesting game. You know, the home field advantage is going to play a difference this year. Obviously, all the fans are back, ready to go. Everything's good to go. So, you know, I think it's going to make a difference. But it's going to still going to be every week with this franchise, with this Falcons team. It's going to be tough. No doubt about it. It's going to be tough every week. So, we got to get off to a good start because week two, no, you can't really look ahead, but week two, Tom Brady and that Tampa Bay Bucks team. So, we would love to get a victory here to start off this franchise. So for our weekly game plan, I think we got to concentrate on Miles Sanders in the run game. That's going to get Philadelphia going. Obviously, Hurts, they're, they, they, you know, they're still going to do your read option plays, get the quarterback out there. But still, we got to stop Miles Sanders and prove that he can throw the ball, no doubt about it. And I think we'll do half pads for practice as well, pretty much throughout the season. Offensive game plan. Right now, they have, you know, Darius Slay, very good corner. You can see the passer rating deep last year, actually pretty good. But, man, what they can do up front, they can get to the passer. Our offensive line is we We definitely got to concentrate on the pass rush. That is for sure. Once again, half pads for the offense as well. We'll do that for the remainder of the season. I think if we get down closer, then we can kind of go to, you know, getting more backup reps, and I think that's what we might do. I don't think we'll be in a playoff contention where we're going to really have to rest guys for playoffs. That's probably not going to happen at all, so we won't really have to worry about that. Now, for focus players, we got Pitts, obviously. Mayfield was a third-round pick, but I think we're going to go with... We're going to go in a different direction with that. I don't think... Um, I mean, he might not even be... We'll see. We may redraft the whole offensive line. We'll see what happens there. So let's go over to defense. See if we can find anybody at all. Maybe cornerback. Maybe A.J. Terrell. I know he's already a star. He's only 22 years old, but if we can get him higher, superstar up there, that would be awesome. Richie Grant, the second-round pick. We're going to keep him as right now, and hopefully later down the line we can get the extra focus player points. Probably won't happen this year, but maybe next year we can get that and uh, you know start drafting well and start focusing on all these players. So as for goals this week, some of these goals are just insane. There's no way we would even get it done. There's no doubt about it. Like, shut out Philadelphia? I don't think so. I don't think our defense is that good. Maybe we can win the turnover battle. I think that's a good possibility for our head coach. But, man, yeah, shut them out? I don't think so. But let's get this one underway. Let's get this franchise going. Enough with the talking and get to the plane here in week one in Mercedes-Benz Dome in Atlanta. Eagles looks like they will receive the ball first. So here we go. Week one, season one of this franchise is underway in this doom. The sun is out. So that's always good to see. Love to see the sun out. And here we go. Here comes Jalen Hurts in this Eagles offense. And what will what kind of season will Jalen Hurts have? You know, he's up for you know his spot trying to prove himself. And that's a quick pass, throw, catch, first down, just like that, right off the bat. And up to the 35-yard line. And here comes Miles Sanders with the run. Like we said, we have to shut him down. Because if Miles Sanders gets going, it is going to be a long, long day for this Falcons defense. 
Third and six, but can we get a stop? As Hurts is going to take off and he slides down. Alucan and Deion Jones are there to make sure he doesn't go any further. And we force a punt. And here comes Matt Ryan in this offense. So that's already stated. This is the last year for Matt Ryan. He is done after this year. We have no plans of keeping him. There's no doubt about it. Kind of a lame duck quarterback. Will he retire? I mean, maybe so, but he might stick around as well. He, you know, he's still playing well for his age, no doubt about it. Obviously, the age thing is that pass is no good. Probably should have been picked off. That's a quick three and out for this Atlanta offense. But still, Matt Ryan, this will be it for this year. You know, we don't really have a quarterback to play other than him, so we're going to let him do his job, see what he can do. Obviously, his contract's huge. Maybe we can offload him to somebody. I'm not sure if that'll be a possibility, but maybe so. We'll see. And here comes our defense trying to step up and coming through. And Grant, the rookie, comes through with a sack on the safety blitz. Nice job there and brings up a third and 11 as Hurts dropping back to throw. Looking, fires underneath, and that's going to be incomplete intended for the Heisman Trophy first-round pick, Devontae Smith. And that is another punt. So right now... Is it good offenses or is it bad? Or I was going to say, is it good defenses or bad offenses going on right now? As there's the first catch of the career for Kyle Pitts. And it's only for three yards as he is going to be a target all year. We want to get him going. But on second and seven, the blitz comes through. Ball is loose. And we will recover. But, man, that... There's one thing up front, Brandon Graham, you know, Fletcher Cox, these guys can get to the quarterback. Third and 14, Ryan, watch out. You just got to get rid of the ball, man. Throw it away, incomplete. And that is another punt. So nothing going on right now with this ball game. 0-0 the score as Miles Sanders with the carry on first and 10. He picks up around six as Eagles offense trying to get going as well. Third and four. We're going to bring some heat. They're going to swing it out to Sanders, but Deion Jones is there for the stop. There's one guy on this defense I like a lot. That is Deion Jones. The speed, he's just all over the place. Uh, a fast-flowing linebacker really can make a difference. I mean, just look at Tampa Bay and look what they can do with their linebackers. That's a carry for Davis, picking up around six and trying to get this run game going here. Second and four, handoff to Davis again. Really good blocking on the outside, and that's going to get up to the 21-yard line first down. I mean, that'll really help this offense a lot if we can get the run game going. You know, with this offensive line, I wasn't sure if we are going to be able to do that, but right now looking good. Second and 11 to the outside. Fine. This time Ridley for the catch. Has some room. Breaks off the tackle, and he's got 22 yards. He's up to the 42-yard line as Russell Gage is a bit shaken up, and he is heading to the locker room. So that is not something we want to see at all. And he's got a dislocated shoulder, so he's going to be done for this game. That is an injury where it shouldn't be any more than this game. So he's out for the rest of this game. So we'll have to step up in the receiver game. Third and four. Ryan over the middle. He makes a bad decision. And this one's going to be picked off. Just too many guys around there. Wilson, the linebacker, backs up perfectly. Looks like it was kind of a man half cover. Maybe a cover three follow. And there you go. Picks it off. And Philadelphia makes a big play. The question is, can their offense go? And here's the read option quarterback read for Jalen Hurts. Breaks off a tackle, and it'll be brought down up to the 39-yard line. So Philadelphia now in prime position here to finally put the first points on the board, getting close to field goal range as we head into the second quarter. And off to Miles Sanders and going nowhere. Both linebackers all over that one. And brings up a third down and seven. So from the gun, in motion is Rager. Looking, Hurts fires over the middle, and Goddard cannot hang on to the ball. Incomplete. And they'll bring on the kicker here for about a 53-yard field goal. It is up, and it is good. And Philadelphia will put the first points on the board here. 3-0 here in this second quarter. So can our offense get something rolling here? It has not been good so far as Patterson with the carry. And this is going to bring up a third down and four. We've got plenty of time to throw. Nice pocket there for Ryan. He finds Pitts for the catch. And that should be enough for a first down. So right now, it's been all underneath. we got to stretch this field out a little bit. Ryan, watch out. Pressure coming. There was about three Eagles there. Hargrave is the one that's going to pick it up. Second sack for him. And we're all the way back to the 16-yard line. Third and 21 as we're going to have to work a miracle here. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up perfectly. Swing it out quick to Davis, who does break off the tackle. It doesn't matter, though. That's well short of the first down. And the offense, once again, sputters. Nothing so far in this ball game. And that's what this season's going to be, though. You know, if we win some ball games here and there, that's fantastic. But a lot about evaluation of other players on this, on this offensive side of the ball. You know, Matt Ryan's not going to be here, but you want to see the development of Pitts. 
You want to see what Calvin Ridley can do. Really interested to see what other the you know other receivers can do on this team. Younger guys. So, I mean, that's really, really what this season one is going to be. Evaluation. Who's going to be here come next season? Third down and two. Hand off to Sanders. Deion Jones with the tackle. Is that enough for a first down? And it is. Another Eagle first down. And they get up to the 27-yard line. As this time they're going to play action. Hurts looking. Pressure in his face. Throwing it deep. Going up top. And it's going to be caught. But out of bounds. Smith came down with a reception. But he was out of bounds. And now in a Hurts on a third and ten. He's got nobody in front of him. But he's going to be brought down. Nice job by Fowler Jr. to bring him down. And that is going to be another defensive stop. And that is going to be a field goal for Philadelphia. So it's still just a 6-0 ball game. Now our offense hasn't done anything so far in this game. And there we go. Finally something. Finding Hayden Hurst for the catch. He's down to the 44-yard line. First down. All three of our timeouts here with less than two minutes left. First and ten. Ryan rolling out. Firing. There's Ridley with the catch. And they're going to say he's still in bounds, but that's okay. Clock can run, but that's a big first down. And this is the best drive we've had the, this entire ball game. First and ten. Pressure. Watch out. Ball is loose again. Patterson luckily there to pick it up before Fletcher Cox had that one. It was going in for six. But still, another big sack. Loss of a play. Second and 21. Going up top. Finding Hayden Hurst for the catch. He breaks off the tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. Biggest play of the ball game for either team. First touchdown of the game for either team. And that's going to give us the lead 7-6. to six. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Was that Maddox he just beat? Who was that? I couldn't tell who he beat, but there you go. Hurst got it. Touchdown. I mean, he pretty much is almost a receiver. There's no doubt about it. With the speed he has, he's kind of like a, you know, not really a tight end, more of a receiver, kind of like we have with Pitts. So we can spread those guys out. And that's going to bring us into halftime with a 7 the sixth lead. So both offenses really struggling so far. No doubt about it. We'll see if they pick it up here in this second half. So we'll go to Carolina. See what they're doing against the Jets. 17-0 lead. Sam Darnold with two touchdowns. McCaffrey looking good. Oh, they got to sign Cam Newton. So the Jets sign Cam Newton. We might have to make a few adjustments with that one. No doubt about it. I want Zach Wilson to play for them. As for adjustments halftime, I think we got to throw a medium. we got to try to open it up just a little bit. As for defensively, we've done a really good job for Miles Sanders so far, and I think we continue to do that, shut down their offense, at least one aspect of their offense. But we got to pick it up, especially with the pass game. We have some weapons. we got to utilize it. And that uh, end of the half, that was, that was a lot better, no doubt about it. Second and nine here to start this half. That's what we want to see. Fire it out to Cal Calvin Ridley as McGarry goes down, so... That's not going to help our calls trying to get down the field with a bad, all banged up offensive line so far struggling as well as this one. Ryan get hit, got hit. The ball just fluttered in the air. Luckily for us, it's incomplete as McGarry is fine. Just muscle cramps. So third down and 10. Ryan looking just a four-man rush, and he fits that one in there to Kyle Pitts. Catch first down up to the 49-yard line. Nice job. He's got five catches, but only 27 yards. That was his longest catch of the game. First and 10. Hand this one off to Patterson up the middle. He picks up around eight. He's up to the 41. And now we got a big third down and one. Do we trust their run game? No. We're going to throw it. But Ryan looking, and he's going to try to fire back to Hayden Hurst. And that is going to be a loss of three. But we're going to go for it here from the 43-yard line. Kind of no man's land. So Ryan on fourth and four. Looking. Can't find anything. And that is going to go down. If you just uh, just would have stepped up in the pocket a little bit earlier. Probably could have had something. And that is looked good at the start. And just finish off uh, really, really bad. As Sanders with the carry. He's up to the 42-yard line. Picking up around six yards. And brings up a second and four. Fires quickly. That's going to be caught. Jalen Rager catch 20 yards up to the 22-yard line as this Eagles team trying to regain the lead here. And right now looking pretty good if they're at really good field position after the failed fourth down. Third and three, though. Can we get a stop? And then that's exactly what we do. The pressure leads to a bad pass. But... Another field goal for Philadelphia. 9-7 the score. Five minutes left here in this third quarter. Watch out, Matt Ryan. As he gets hit once again. Man, this offensive line is straight garbage. It is not good. I know Philadelphia has a good front four, but man, it is not good. 
Ryan to the outside is going to find Pitts, and that is a fantastic tackle, bringing him down short because there, there was nobody in front of him, but nice tackle to keep him short. But on second and two, it's not going to matter. One hand off to Cordero Patterson, and he's got a first down up to the 46-yard line. So that's what we want to see. Utilize that run game in specific spots. And now yeah, Davis with the carry. That's usually what it's been like this whole game. Nothing there. That's pretty much a loss. So third down and four. Here comes a just a blitz from Philadelphia. Picked up. And Ridley with the catch. First down. So good job by the offensive line. Helping out Matt Ryan that time. Not allowing him to even get hit or get annihilated. So he picks up the first down. This time he's going to get hit. Looking for Sharp. And he can't come down with it. Incomplete. We haven't really went down the field much. We just haven't had the time. You know, that it's more of these throws right here underneath throw. Second and ten, finding Pitts. He picks up around nine and a half. I mean, that's really all the time we've had for. It's just, and really, sometimes guys haven't even been open down the field. Third and inches is Davis up the middle. I think that's just enough for a first, and it's not. They're calling him short. I, I don't know. That was a terrible spot. Fourth and inches. We're going for it. Obviously, we get it, but, man. That was an awful spot. I thought for sure he had the ball in his right hand. That should have been a first down. So luckily it doesn't come back to screw us over. We get the first down and fourth and inches. But now a third down and ten here to start off this fourth quarter. Here comes some blitz up the middle. And Hayden Hurst comes down with the reception. What a grab from Hayden Hurst. It looked like the safety was going to come down, pick it off. He pretty much picks it away from him, bodies him. Got it. First and goal now to Davis for the touchdown. And we have regained the lead here in this fourth quarter. So we have a good game, technically competitive here in week one. Now, would I say it's good? I don't know about that. <laughs> right now, it's pretty sloppy play from each team. Really, the offenses can't get anything going at all. First and ten. Maybe it opens up here in this fourth quarter. Maybe that's exactly what's going to happen. As Hurts with the cat, uh, finding the reception. There's a first down. And they're up to the 43-yard line. Second to three to the outside. He had Zach Ertz, and he missed him. That was a clear first down. So can we take advantage on a third down? Get the stop. Hand off to Miles Sanders, and Grady Jarrett comes through with a big stop. And Philadelphia is going to have to punt. So can we piggyback off that last touchdown drive? Get this momentum. Maybe go down the field, score another touchdown. Maybe put this game away. Not too much there as McGarry goes down again. And that's not what you want to see. Second time going out in this ball game. Second and seven. Play action. Ryan looking. Plenty of time to throw. Fires and pits it. He has them first down. And we're up to the 33-yard line. That's what you want to see. Nice job in the O-line with the protection. As Pitts is definitely a mismatch. There's no doubt about that. First and ten. Ryan slinging it up. One-on-one -on -one for Sharp. Who comes down with the catch? Big time grab. Just trust it in your receiver. One on one down to the 19-yard line. Now we'll go back to the run game with Davis, which, once again, not a whole lot. Just picking up maybe two yards. And it's a broken thumb from McGarry. That might be a couple-week injury, no doubt about it. Second and eight from the 17. Ryan looking over the middle. Red lady can't come away with it. And Hayden Hurst almost had it on the rebound. Incomplete. Third and eight. Just a four-man rushing. Oh, not a very good decision there. Probably should have been picked off. We'll kick the field goal. Still a one-possession ball game with 6.22 left. 17-9 the score. Can our defense get a stop? Second and ten. As Hertz is going to get out of there. He's just going to run it, and he keeps going. Breaks off a tackle, and he carries a few guys for the first down up to the 37-yard line. What a run there from Jalen Hertz. As obviously, this might be your final possession of the ball game. Definitely four down territory. Second and four. Hurts looking. Pressure coming, but he fires it out to Miles Sanders. Nice job. That was a good read. Good find. Close to a first down. Third down and one. We got to stop last time with third down and one. Can we get another one this time? And we will not. As Sanders will just have enough there for a Philadelphia first down with 4.13 left in this ball game. Second and ten. Hurts looking and whoa, Sanders is just wide open. Nobody over there with him, and he's down to the 29 yard line. So, Philadelphia, when they need it, they are getting it. 
And they're down to the 22-yard line. Second and three. Handoff to Sanders. Up the middle. That's another Eagles first down. Gain of six. And clock continues to roll. Close to now two minutes left in this ball game. Second and eight. Hertz is going to get rolled to the outside. And he's going to have the catch. And that will be up to the 11-yard line as we have reached the two-minute warning. Can the defense get the stop? Third down and five now from the 11. They're going to set up a screen to Sanders, and it works out perfectly. Breaks off a tackle, and he just has enough for a first down. They're going to hurry it up here. First and goal now from the six. Hurts looking outside, fires, and it's dropped. Jalen Rager had the touchdown, and he drops it. Oh, man, will that come back to bite him? Second and goal, and it won't. Right over the middle. Quick throw to Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And now they are a two-point conversion away from tying this ball game up with 135 left. Here we go. Can our defense get a stop? Hurts looking. And nice job. Kaminsky comes through for the sack. And Philadelphia will not get the two. So they decide just to kick the ball off. Trust in the defense with all three timeouts. As Davis with the carry, he gets through. Davis has got room to run. He's going to be brought down, but not after a gain of 27 yards. Philadelphia will use their first timeout. Now they can still get this ball back. You can see now in second and five, they use their second timeout. They can still get the ball back. Second and five, Davis with the carry. Picks up three, final timeout used for Philadelphia. Yeah, they get a stop here. You're talking, you know, maybe 15 seconds left, but still. They can still get it back as Davis on third down is stuffed. So, instead of attempting a long field goal, we're going to go for this here. This is a big, big thing here. Fourth and two. Ryan rolling out. Fires the Ridley. And he's got the catch. First down. And that is your ball game here in week number one. Ends in dramatic fashion there in the fourth and two. Nice throw by Ryan. You never know what you're going to get on that throw and a run. And Ridley comes down with a grab, utilizing your superstars when you need it most. And there we go. That is a victory to start off this franchise here in week one. It wasn't pretty at all, but it's job done. 17-15 the final. Defense just doing enough there in that two-point conversion to not allow Philadelphia to get it. And that's your ball game. Man, <laughs> yeah, like I said, not a pretty ball, not a pretty game. Then definitely for sure, you're not gonna, you might not see a lot of very good games out of this Atlanta team this season because this isn't a very good team. Matt Ryan, 24, 33, only had uh, one touchdown, one pick. He should, I in reality should have had like three picks. Uh, that what was the third play of the ball game? That should have been a pick. The play there at the end with a field goal, that should have been a pick. So should have had a lot more picks. Pitts with eight catches for 64 yards, really six for 86. So definitely have to work on Pitts more down the field. It's just this game, we were just having major issues trying to push the ball down the field with the offensive line, not a lot of protection at all. So, you know, we'll have to try to work on that a little bit. As McGarry, he's out for three weeks now with a broken thumb. So this offensive line, which was not good, just gets even worse. So now our right tackle position is not looking good whatsoever. Um, it wasn't really that great to begin with, but now it's really bad. Um, as Grady Jarrett, you know, win-win's not too bad. He's seen you know, they didn't want to achieve what they wanted to, but still don't trust too much. We have a long time yet. Don't worry about it. 1,000 XP for the entire team, so that is really good to see. And five extra staff points, so that's awesome as well. As week two brings us to the defending champs, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They beat Dallas 31-28 in the first game of the NFL season on Thursday night. And Brady just did it. Four touchdowns, no picks. What do you expect? I mean, it's just crazy what he can do. Ronald Jones, 49 yards on the ground. Uh, Brown at 8 for 96. Evans, 9 for 87 and a touchdown. Gronk had two touchdowns. What do you know? Nothing new there. And Godwin, 6 for 44 and a touchdown. So they just have so many weapons. Team's ridiculous. Their defense is so good. Devin White, De Levante David just fly around the ball. Who knows what we're going to hit this week two game. <laughs> this might not be good. We'll see. Maybe we could just stay competitive. You know, we'll see what happens here in week two against the GOAT, Tom Brady, and the Bucks. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.